Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video we will learn about assigning permission sets to new user with the help of a flow. And in this process we are going to create a record trigger flow that will assign permission sets to the user according to the condition that we are going to define in the flow. So in Salesforce we assign the permission set to give extra access to the users and this permission sets can be assigned from the permission set setup but we can automate the process of assigning the permission set to new users using the flow that is the record trigger flow so let's move ahead and see the process that how we are going to create that record trigger flow and before starting that i would like to introduce our newly launched the salesforce admin course and also i will mention the course link in the description from where you can access it so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and i will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course so these are the modules that we have covered in this course so it's a beginner to advanced level salesforce course and it, there are nine plus modules and 20 plus hours hd video and you will also get the pdfs and the certification after the completion and also there is an offer for 50 percent discount for the early words so so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course and if you subscribe this course right now you have to pay only 99 dollars instead of 199 dollars so even if you are a beginner then you will understand each and everything in this course and to get this code you can redirect to our website and from there you can subscribe to this course so now let's move back to our so right now i logged into my salesforce developer console and here and from here we will navigate to the flow setup and for that go to the quick find box and here search and select flows and in the flow setup window click on the button new flow so here we will create a record trigger flow so i will select this option record trigger flow so here after selecting the option record trigger flow click on the button create so now we have to configure the record trigger flow so here the object will be the user because this record trigger flow will run when a user will be when a new user is created or a new user record is created and here in the trigger condition i will i have selected the option a record is created and in the set entry condition you can define the entry condition so here i will define one entry condition that if the is active field of the user is active that is true then only the flow will run and it is optional to define the entry conditions and in case uh, in this scenario if i will not uh, define any entry condition this flow will trigger each time when a new user record is created so after defining the entry conditions and after this we will add a get record element to this flow so here i have to enter the label and the api name for the get record element and we are assigning permission set to the user in this object so so the get record object is going to be the permission set and here also we have to define the conditions so in the permission set conditions we have to enter the name of the permission set that we are going to assign to the user so in the field we will select name and operator will be equals and in the value we have to enter the name of the permission set that we are going to assign to the user so now we have configured the get record element also and after this we will add a create record element to the flow so here we have to enter the label and the api name for this create record element also and in the option how to set the record field select the option use separate resources and in the object select the permission set assignment so here we have to define the conditions that on what base this permission set will be assigned to the user so for that we need the assignee id and the permission set id assignee id is the id of the user and permission set id is the id of permission set so here we will enter the assignee id that is the record user id and another field we are going to add is permission set id so now we have configured the assignee id and the permission set id so as of now our flow is completed now we will save this flow for that click on the save button in the flow builder and enter the flow label and flow api name and after entering the flow label the flow api name will be auto filled here click on the save button to run this trigger flow we need to activate it so for that click on the activate button in the flow builder and now we will test the flow so according to the conditions that we have applied in this record trigger flow is that when a user will be created with the active status that if the new user is created with the is active status as a true then the selected permission set will be assigned to that user so now we will go back to the salesforce developer console and here in the quick find box search and select users and here to create a new user we will click on this button new user 
so here in this window we have to enter the required details to create the new user so here i have selected user license as salesforce and user profile as admin support and the profile i have selected here as system administrator and the active field is true so according to the condition when we create this user the permission set will be assigned to this user so now here we will click on the save button to create this user and after creating the new user we will scroll down to the section permission sets assignments permission and here we can see the permission set that we have selected in the flow is assigned to the new user so in this way we can assign the permission set to the new user using the salesforce record trigger flow and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye